Hey guys, what's going on guys, DC here, and today I have a very cool game for you guys. Um, I've been wanting to do an indie game series for a while, um, and I got in contact with the publishers of this game, uh, Keystone Games. Um, this game, it, I know it looks like Minecraft right now, it's not, alright, it's way cooler. I, as you can see, I already have to continue because I had to get a few for the game because it, it is kind of difficult, but it's also kind of fun. So I'm going to go with Nightmare, um, and I'm not really that good at the game. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna watch this video. But, yeah, the game is really cool. Uh, right now it just looks like Minecraft, but it plays so much. Yeah, it's so much more, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But it's a really cool game. It's kind of like um, if Minecraft and, uh, I don't know, the coolest roguelike ever had a, had a child together. I don't know, like, when I first saw this game, um, I was like, well... I don't know if it has a lot of depth in it, but it does. It has a really cool system of stuff, um, and I'm sorry if I'm talking to, to, uh, through the video, but I'm just kind of excited about this game, you know? Also, the developers are kind of really friendly, and um, I know right now that if you, if you hear the price of this game, you're going to say, well, it's expensive, but hear me out, all right? The, 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 the price of the game... It's 20 bucks, 20 euros for those who live in Europe. I have no idea how it works in other countries, but every penny you spend uh, will go to a, a good cause for disabled children. So you have a good game, a very fun game. I'm actually going to travel here because I have no other choice, but I'm going to travel there. But you have a fun game, all right, uh, which feels and looks amazing. Um, it's not that early access kind of stuff, you know, it's like, it's just, it's a good game. It feels good, it feels balanced, and it's, it's great. Um, and, you'll be helping disabled children. So, <laughs> I don't see a bad way in this, uh, in this deal. But hey, I say, don't take my word for it. I'm actually not gonna read that, because I just wanna show you guys this game, alright? So, as you can see, I have a wand. Which has some basic attacks, and there are some different kind of stuff you can unlock and get through. Um, I just got myself a wild bulb, which uh, instantly fills our mana, but right now I'm just gonna use it because I'm hungry. And if you're hungry, you're not gonna be of as much as use. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try my best to at least get some basic materials um, so that uh, we might have to spend multiple days here. Right? Like, I, I am not that good. I know people that will probably finish this in a day. Um, I'm not that good. I'm actually going underwater, and then I'm going up. I just, um, at the meantime, I'm searching for a plant that is in the water, which is actually a very good plant. Now, this guy is going to attack me, and he hit me. But I killed him. Oh, damn, damn, pir piranhas. Now. Oh, dude, there's another one. It's cool. This, like, even if they hit me, right, I should regenerate some of my health. I hope, at least. Because I'm already at 44. Am I really going to die in the first episode? Nah, I shouldn't. Um, oh, wow. Okay, maybe I should, because I deserve it at this point. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough game. Alright? It's not, it's not like it's going to hold your hand. It's going to tell you a few basics, but after that, you just have to survive. Uh, which is cool, because you can actually do that. I know right now it seems hard, and all I've been doing right now is fighting these enemies. Um... But there's a cause, you know? Because every time I kill enemies, you get these uh, these things, the spirit dusts. Um, and those are used by, uh, for crafting a lot. Okay, that's a health thingy I'm going to pick up, because it's going to restore my health. Sometimes it gets away from you. Uh, didn't give me a whole... Okay, that's the plan I was looking for. But first off, I was going to tell you guys about these plants. Oh, well, yeah, there's a lot of attackers. That's cool, though. That's cool. Uh, they're not everywhere, don't worry, it's not a constant battle. Um, though, yeah, you have a big chance of running into them. But these plants, alright? I didn't need... Oh, wait, I can pick something up. Uh, oh, it's that thing. Food. Food's always nice to pick up, because if you get low on food or hungry, or you need a special effect or something, some of the foods give it. But these plants, I didn't even know what they did, but I walked into them and they poison you. Um, not as in the poison that slowly kills you, but in the poison that stops you from regenerating. These plants are helped with that, with that, and you can also use those plants to craft um, a nightmare, which I already have right now. But that's the, basically another life, and it's this is really it's really important because there's gonna be a time where you accidentally walk in one of those things, and trust me, if you're poisoned, it's gonna make things 
fucking hard for you. Also traumatized, because you're also gonna get traumatized. Oh, I'm hungry right now. So I'm gonna eat this, because it's the only food I have. But as you can see, I'm actually already traumatized. The horrors of the world are creeping into your soul. Lower mana regeneration rate. See, and I have gurgle weed, which is what I just picked up in the... Um, what do you say? In the, in the water thingy. Um, oh, and you can jump really cool in here. And you have levitate and everything. There's just a lot of stuff going on. There's different quests on every island, and it's always random. So, it's it never gets boring, you know? It has tons of replayability. Also, there is crafting and gathering. Um, in order to, for me to get rid, uh, get get off this island, I need to craft fuel. Uh, one fuel for the ship. Um, as you can see right now, mining it goes pretty easy. You can zoom in with shift, and then if you fire at a block... Okay, I need to watch out, because the piranhas, you can't hit them. But they can hit you. Um, this may not be the best place to show you. Because I'm actually already kind of low. Am I poisoned? I am. Okay. Well, I was going to save my uh, gurgle weed. But I guess since I'm now poisoned and traumatized, I'm going to show you guys. Alright? I'm not rege re re regenerating any health or anything. So what I'm going to do... Boom. I eat the gurgle weed. And it's... Oh, both both the, the, the effects are gone. No, the bad things. Uh, I didn't even know what these were. But these are some kind of trap. If you near this you will instantly die so when, when you shoot him so there's that luckily most of the time you can outrun the piranhas because you can end fly and I see an enemy there I can't hit it from here but yeah this game is really cool um, I haven't I haven't even well I, I've gotten to the second island oh I hit I killed it okay so I kind of want to go there because I'm pretty sure that once we're there we can actually jump it this high you know wait look and now, we should wait for the mana, because I can't fight anyone if I don't have the mana for it. But, okay, um, so, with this, this is the first wand in the game. Uh, you start with this wand. I kind of want to show you guys a clip of me using um, the wand that I uh, got together with some materials um, in my other playthrough. However, uh, we'll have to see, alright? Because... I do plan on getting this video out, since I had contact with the developers and I told them I was busy with, with the video. Um, oh damn, I'm actually going to die here, that's not good. That thing also poisons you. So... I didn't... I, I think I'm just doing something wrong right now, because... I know it used to be hard, but... Oh, that was the trap! Okay, that's what that was I talking about. That was the trap thingy. The, thing, the good thing is that we had a nightmare. So now it's gone, so it's alive, alright? I was kind of like, oh fuck. But you also have a map, um, and I'm gonna go this way right now, because I want to see maybe. Well, first of all, I want I want more gurgle weed, and I want to see because there's there's a quest. I I need to find the demon portal on the first island. So if I find it, I need to go uh, get on top of it and then disable it, which is actually a pretty fun quest. Not gonna lie. Um, but after that, we should be done with the first island. But it's it it sounds easy. But it's gonna take you some, you some time and preparation, because like, you can't just run over there, like I just showed you, because you'll die. You know, there's there's different scenarios you need to keep track of, and you also need to prepare. Like, I'm, I have, there's different kind of foods. You also need, uh, you know, there's a, a way to uh, make a, some sort of te uh, teleportation scroll. It's kind of hard fighting and talking at the same time, not gonna lie. But... Um, there's some kind of teleportation scroll that teleports you back to your ship for a night comes because nighttime is awful. Well, it's not awful, but like it's, it's tough, right? Because at nighttime, uh, these ghost thingies come out. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys right now um, the different foods. These instantly restore 20 health. These twice as long run faster. So yeah, there's different kind of effects that every food has on you. Also, you can't eat uh, uh, some kind of food. Um, if you're full. So like, if I have, there's there's these glowing berries, right? Um, they, you sometimes find them on trees. Like there, over there, I actually I spot I spotted one. Over there, alright? If you eat that, then the ghost uh, at night won't be able to see you. Alright? And I, I wanted to do that one, one time, but I couldn't. I couldn't use it because I just ate something else because I was, well, starving. And when you're starving, it gets so much harder. And that's what she said. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna kill these guys, because that's not that big of a deal. See, if you just prepare well and you look out for where you are, it's, it's pretty easy to kill these first type of enemies. There's also different type of enemies, and the I, oh, I only, only thing I've done is play two worlds, which were generated. And this is these are diamonds. Also, 
I love the mining in this game. It's it's very really satisfying. If you if you find the good stuff, um, I ha I have I only have uh, seen a s like like a s slow little bit kind of uh, stuff of the game. Like there's I only scratched the surface. Jesus, it's kind of hard for me to commentate after a little while, um, which is fine because I have to get used to it again. But all I'm saying, guys, okay, it's getting night as you can see. Now normally. I would be like, okay, who cares? I'm gonna try to outrun the ghost, the ghost, ghost thingy. Right now, I think different of that. All right, because I don't have any nightmares anymore, which basically means if I die right now, it's over, and I don't want my first episode to go like that. So, what I could do is, I, if I get in trouble, actually, oh man, there's a fruit over here. That's good. That's good. I'm just gonna grab this fruit. I I ate it. Not sure why I ate it, but probably because I saw another one and I. Kind of prefer to be safe. Okay, see, I love that you can jump high. I see, I see some gargle weed as well. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to fight these enemies because it sounds stupid. Because like I'm taking damage, obviously. All right, and that is kind of painful. Yeah, which is also true. But the thing is, they drop stuff. If I survive, which I intend to, <laughs> see, sometimes they drop hearts, which is kind of what I'm counting on. Um. Because I should be able to survive this. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just grabbing that stuff. Grabbing the stuff that they drop. Because it's important, alright? Like, it may sound not important. Oh, Gargoweed, nice. Now there's another Gargoweed over here. You don't always see these. I, lo I love I love the fact that I see them right now. Because they're important. First of all, you see I have 43, right? If I go to Gargoweed, you can see that I need 50 of the enemy things that they drop. In order to um, make myself another life. So when I die... I'm actually kind of reassured to go back to my ship and stuff. Fortunately, right now all I need to do is get to my ship. But normally those ghosts, when they see you, they will chase you. Oh my god, actually I'm going to take one of my Gorgoweed. Because it will cure some of my stupid, stupid decisions earlier. And I will take these with me, alright? I'm going to make sure that I get to my ship. Um, the ghost won't see me because I just ate that glowing thingy, you know? Uh, the, the berry that we found in the, in the air. So as you can see right now... If I get close to them, um, these are invincible by the way, you can't kill them, um, but they will hurt you normally. Now this guy just ignored me because he can't see me. What you're gonna do in the night uh, is you're gonna go in there, hide until morning, but since we have the berry, I don't, I'm not really scared. And they can't attack you when you're here, they won't, but they will attack you the moment you step a little bit too far on your boat. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, there's a uh, ship fuel. And you make shift, uh, ship fuel, fuel by having 15 uh, of these and 10 enemies. And then if you want ship fuel, and that's good enough to get further, you know? So, to the next island, if you get the quest complete. Now, I hear you saying, what the hell am I supposed to do at night then? Well, of course, you could still consider just moving around if you have the berry. That I have, I ate it, and it's still on effect. Um, which actually, I'm going to use... The good way, because I'm gonna try to see some more Google Weed, maybe, you know, close to the boat. Um, I didn't see any. My berry is about to run out. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna go to this ledge, which I didn't even know the first night. I just hide, hit there, like all the time. But you're just gonna press F, you're gonna hide in there until morning. Um, you don't have to do that. I mean, it's an option, right? The thing is, what it does though, it makes you hungry the moment you wake up. Luckily, I have some food with me. Um, and actually, okay, stupid piranhas need to get out of the way. Um, I don't mind if we have to fight right now, because that means that I... See, th these things are the best. Because these are specifically give you are specifically good for, uh, for food. I wish I had that one. Anyway, um, I want to try to fight, alright, right now, because... I know it costs me HP and stuff, but if I gather a little bit more... At least I will be able to make myself another nightmare. Which you don't... Well, you, you won't need it if you just play carefully, right? And I, I will try to play carefully a little bit. But, like, sometimes it just... It's just too hard, you know? And sometimes you, you're you just a little bit too hasty. I'm gonna... Just because I see him. You know, I see food. And I probably won't need him. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how far we can get with this first episode. I kind of want to finish the first island to show you guys... What, what the... Damn, I nearly walked into those stupid things. Alright. Um, these people over here need to die. 
Thank you for dying. Um, and so do you. Alright. Thank you very much. I'm not traumatized. There's nothing wrong. So I should regenerate my health slowly. Um, and actually some diamonds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy these stupid plants that poison you. Because I didn't even know that the first time. I was like, what the hell? Why am I not regaining health? Why am I dying so freaking quickly? Because I, I literally had to search up a video. Actually, I will put a link in the description as well. Of one of the developers. They had a video that really made me more in uh, interested in this game. Where, he, where she showed off um, some kind of uh, different techniques and stuff. I don't know. It, it just it looks so in-depth. And if you see it like this, you know, the only thing you've seen so far is me trying to survive, find some food, and kill some enemies. But it's it goes further than that, you know? You also have quests. Um, the first quest should, is probably easy. I mean, for me, it's defeating the demon portal. I'm not even sure if the first one will be randomized. Um, not that I care, to be honest, because it's a fun quest nonetheless. Um, because, you know, the, the, the island is random, and you still have to... You know, you're not invincible in this game, you know? In Minecraft, it's not hard to survive. In... Well, I don't know. There's, there's other games like that, you know? Like, take, let's just take Minecraft because it looks like, alright? People will probably um, try to look at this like they look at Minecraft. I'm actually hungry, so I'm gonna eat that one. Um, but yeah, this is not Minecraft. And people can see that when you play it, right? I guess. Some people won't, some people will. Um, these are emeralds. I saw them, so I want to take them as well. I probably won't be able to use those. There's a trap. I'm gonna set off the traps. Alright, because they are deadly. That's what I should have done last time. Uh, Apecorn. Let me just see where I am, okay? So I'm here right now. And I'm searching for the demon portal. Um, and whilst I'm doing that, I am trying to find myself some more mana view. As you can see right there, there's mana view that will increase my permanent mana. So... You know, you can you can you can slowly but surely upgrade your character. There's also a chance to you find a little house, which has a chest in it, um, which can contain numerous sorts of things. So diamonds, well, yeah, they're diamonds. I mean, aren't they very good in every game? I mean, it's diamonds. The thing, what we can do with diamonds, like we have 13 right now, we can make another diamond. And then when we have another diamond, we can make those diamonds into shiny diamonds. And when we combine those two, we can... Oh wait, you can get you get those. You know, you can upgrade your spells. So you can get like a sap, which is actually really cool. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Because I do have the other staff in my other game, but I don't think I have anything unlocked for it yet. Now, I want to make sure that I have enough for fuel for the ship. So let me just check my inventory. I have 15. I can make myself a view. So now I have one view, and I could get out of here, but I can't, re I can't yet, because I have to close that demon portal, which is over there. So, now we know where the demon portal is, right? I'm gonna just check it out on my map real quick, just to not make sure that I know where I am. Um, and I wanna be safe, because, yeah, they will... They actually have really good aim. You know, normally, you, you see games that have AI, don't have that good of, good of an aim or something. These guys are different, alright? They hit you, if you don't pay attention. Um, also, when you go in this the time, slow mos It's not... It, do, it doesn't freeze or anything, it's slow mos um, but what I'm going to do for, to make sure is I'm going to make myself uh, a nightmare. This is an extra life, just to be sure. Um, I was going to show you guys something. I'm not sure what I was going to show you. Damn it, I already forgot. Well, I was looking at the portal. I don't know. I was going to show you guys something. I see another trap right there, which I'm going to destroy. Because I don't feel like dying again. You know? Kind of embarrassing if you're making a video. <laughs> Stomach is empty. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, it's, it's good, because I picked up some stuff. Now, did you see right there? I think... I'm not even sure. I'm kind of looking for this kind of uh, moss that grows on the side of uh, cages. Uh, in, uh, in caves. Because what it does, is you, it allows you to make this one. The, the scroll teleportation. Because you need the, the moss for it. And the, this you will find... Um, well... On walls, but mostly... I found them mostly in in caves. Uh, oh, this is also a different type of enemy. He's annoying because he shoots fire stuff. And that stuff fucking hurts. And I'm actually poisoned right now. So, I really want to find a Gurgleweed. But I doubt I'll find it. But hey, since we're still here and I'm out of the water. I'm going to get my maximum mana up. So as you can see, there's multiple stuff... Multiple things that goes on in this game, right? It's not just... Just like walking around, 
mining some stuff. It's also, you have to watch out, you have to be careful. Like, I'm, I'm rushing this right now, right? This is because I have a, some sort of a time limit. Well, I don't have a time limit on this game. But I don't want to make my video too long because I want people to be excited about it, you know? When I first saw it, I put it on my Steam library and I was like, well, okay, I put it on my wishlist. I was like, we'll see, right? Because I always had this idea in the back of my mind that, well, I love games, right? I love games. I have a lot of them. Um, I was kind of thinking, maybe I should make an indie series or something, you know? And this game is perfect for it. Like, it really is. It's, it's a really good game and it's fun and I don't know. You know, it's just... It's just um, I don't think I can make another one. No, I don't even have enough enemies. But it's fine. Right, there's the demon portal. We could close it right now. Um, though I don't think we'll make it. We might made it, make it. But I kind of want to show you guys a little bit more. Because I think... That if you guys enjoy this as much as I will... Um, which I think you will. I'm not, not gonna lie. Like, what, I had my doubts when I first saw this game. Right? Like, I, I was interested. But I didn't... I didn't know what to expect. Well, I'm really happy that I got in contact with the developers, alright? Because normally developers see uh, the size of my channel and they say, well, I'm sorry, but we can't we can't help you there, right? But it's not. it wasn't about me. It was about the game and about showing it. And they actually said, alright, well, you know what? Since we actually uh, do it for a good cause, we would, be, we would love it if you, got, if you made, a, made a video. Because we want to cover as much ground as possible. So... If you guys could help out a little bit, um, please share this video, alright? We need more people to play this game, right? I know it's expensive, um, but I can tell you right now, right? I can tell you that once you start playing it, it's very addicting. Um, yeah, it's worth it, alright? It's, it really is. And I have a lot of games in my Steam library, alright? So I could have picked a lot of games to start the series with. But there's a reason I'm starting up with this one. Um, one, it's for a good cause, right? And it's a really good cause. It's for disabled children, people. You can actually help them by buying this game. Um, and you'll, you'll have a lot of fun. I can almost guarantee it. Okay, there's some stuff. It's getting nighttime. Um, and I'm kind of... Damn, I'm kind of scared now because we don't... Luckily, there are berries over there, which is, which is cool, you know? Because we need those. Um, and I didn't jump here. I just levitated because... You can actually levitate, and you can... Fuck, I was hoping I could reach that. Uh, we can, though. You know, it's not a problem. But yeah, there is fall damage in the game. This isn't a problem, to be honest. It's not... It's, it, it, it does hurt you, but you can counter it really easily once you get once you get the hang of it. Now, I kind of want to show you guys the, the scroll. The scroll of levitation, because... Um, it sounds pretty stupid, I think. I don't know. Like, I know some people might be like, Well, why the fuck would you make a scroll if you can just teleport? The thing is, you can't teleport. But you can make the scroll, and then you you can teleport once to your ship. Which sounds stupid, but it's actually a really, really, really helpful thing. If you want to get out of deadly, deadly situations. Or if it's nighttime and you have no idea where you are, and you need to get back to your ship because you're going to die. Because I could tell you that the ghosts, the get ghosts, I don't know what, they call, what they're called, they come out at night. They're not a joke, alright? They, they hurt you. And they're invincible, so you can't damage them. Oh, I actually got hurt there by falling. I think I levitated at the last part, though. I'm actually really upset that I couldn't find some moss on the side. Maybe I have, maybe I've seen it, but just didn't pay attention to it. Anyway, okay. There's not a bad thing in defeating these enemies. All right. I think there's a total of max enemies on the island actually as well. I'm not sure though, but in the end, it does tell you that you defeated at. Uh, some enemies out of uh, 100 or something, 121, I'm not sure. I have no idea if it's even correct. But, wait, what the hell is going on? What, what? I have something that I haven't seen. I don't know. Subsistence flows to your veins, making you invisible to ghosts. Okay, yeah, well, that's the... I can actually eat you. Nice. Because I couldn't pick it up, right? Which is fine. I ate it. Maybe that was a stupid idea, actually, now that I think about it. Because we want to reach the, the top of the, the demonic portal in order to get it, right? So if we want to do that, you know, we're getting attacked at the same time by these stupid fiery demons. Um, they're not overpowered, but they, you can kill them. And I did that earlier. But the thing is, if you do it, another one spawns, I think. I'm not even sure. But that, that when I played, it happened like that. So, and yeah, they set these platform thingies on fire for a limited amount of time. So yeah, if you just think you could just jump over 
and have it all fixed, you can't. Um, I just need to pay attention right now. I actually really want your health, thank you. And I want to kill you, you stupid ghosts. Alright, um, so I'm pretty sure another one will spawn. Oh my god, I walked into that. But it didn't poison me for some reason. Oh wait, I still have to plant. Because it's only gonna start eating it now. The good thing is I'm not poisoned. I'm not traumatized. It's all fixed by that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, inventory, inventory. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Holy shit, guys. I nearly died to that one. I really need to survive this. But I don't think I will. I'm not sure. I'm just go underwater. Try not to die. Like I said. Um, I need to kill this one. And hope that he has something for me. He didn't. Alright, so I'm just gonna wait it out a little bit. I took... I was actually going to die by the, by the ghost. I think I lost most of my health to it. But... Um, since I passed... Well, I didn't pass it. Because you can't pass the game. But you can... Uh, freeze the or roll actually slow the time a little bit you know it does slow it a little bit um, I think I was able that was the way I actually survived because I used that to take one of the, the berries I still had you know I, I told you we were gonna need it and we well we actually we are needing it so I killed some of them I'm not sure if they do respond that quickly but I'm gonna try to get to, to the portal and get this quest done with all right because I have no idea how long this video is at this moment um, but you gotta take your time with jumping because your mana does drain when you when you jump. All right, so that's what it makes what makes it hard. It's not like it seems easy, and it sounds easy. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the easiest quest. I mean, I started with this quest uh, when when I started, so I think this is just the first island quest. Um, I do know the second quest as well, which is a lot harder. Okay, they're back. They're fucking back, and that's not good. Because of this. Ah, oh, damn it! I died. I died. Damn! Okay. Good thing I created a nightmare, alright? Because otherwise it would have been over right now, and that would have sucked. Um, what I will do, though, is I will... I'm actually kind of thinking. I don't think so. Okay. I was actually thinking maybe if I make another view that I can get two eyelids at once, you know? I can make more steps. Um, but since I have nothing going on right now, and I can't make another nightmare... Um, I always try that when I get here, I want to see if I can find myself some gurgleweed. But I don't see it. I don't see it. So, do I have food? I have food on me. I am going to wait until morning. And I kind of want to see how long I've been recording. Can I see that? I can't. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So, we're going to wait till morning. So, the ghosts are away, you know, because they do make a big difference. And I think it's a cool, cool thing that they put it into game, into the game. Um, there's good news and bad news at the moment. The good news is that we know where the portal is. All right, that's a good thing. Because I, the first island I did, I just walked around the island and I couldn't find it. But then I had to take a different path, and like eventually I found it. it. Took me a pretty long time, which is not a bad thing because I was getting a lot of resources as well. But now that we know where it is. Let me just check. What the hell is that sound? Oh my god, it's that bee thingy. Um, luckily, you kill these easily, but you, if you stand near them when you do it, they will poison you. And you guys know how much poison does in this game, alright? It's, it's it's really awful. Well, I, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it with me. Actually, I should probably, actually, now that I think about it, kill these people, because then I can make another nightmare. Because I'm actually pretty close. Um... Oh, I, I would love to show you guys the the other world. I'm actually going to fuck it. I'm gonna put a, put a clip in this uh, in the end of this end of this game um, from my other loaded game. I'm gonna show you the spark. You know, just to see that's the first upgrade of your staff. You know, and there's one more upgrade which gives you like a, a kind of a buddy that follows you around and attacks people. And there's also two other staffs with this, with three update uh, upgrades um, to them. So we can already see the portal. Let me just check real quick, alright? I have 52. I'm falling. Okay, let's go. Cool. Um, no, I need you. And I need to make another one of these, alright? And whilst we're here, I'm always trying to look out for um, some of the moss 
maybe I've seen it in this game before, but maybe I just walked past it. Could happen. Um, but I think that we can do this, alright? Okay, there's a juicy root right there, which is good, because that one is gives us the most uh, food. Now I want to get it up to there, and once you're up there, you see a little portal, you press it, and then if everything went well, um, it should be deactivated, and then it tells you that you can go back to the ship and get out of here. Alright, it sounds easy, uh, it may look easy, because I thought it looked easy as, as hell when I uh, when I first saw gameplay of this video, and I was like, okay, well, this shouldn't be that challenging, but it, it, it kind of is. All right? It has this kind of mechanic to it, where you have to really time everything, and you have to... Like, if you just go rush in, you'll end up poisoned, traumatized, and I don't know what hap what has what's happened. Okay, my my G4 experience just told me that it can update right now. Oh, okay, that's what I meant. I don't have a brute. Oh god, they're spawning. Okay, never mind this. Um, I'm gonna push you out. I really need to find... I really need to find it right now. Alright? Sounds stupid and stuff, and I know that if you just start jumping... You should be able to make it, and I will try it in a little bit, but I just want to make sure... See, there's a good with It just takes you, sometimes, takes you some time to find some, but in the end it's worth it, because now my health will regenerate, and my mana will regenerate faster, and so it will all be fine. There you go. Enemy died. Okay, here we go. Alright, now what I'm going to do... I'm gonna try to make it up here, obviously. Okay, you annoy me, alright? I'm just trying to make it up here. And the guy's goes to attack me. Alright, here we go. This one. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna eat this. I can't eat it. Can I? I don't think I can. Oh, damn, I forget. Like, if you jump just a little bit too much or, or too late, it will make you levitate instead of jump. Because it will cost. It both costs mana, but the jump costs. Like, almost everything. And the levitate doesn't. So that's why you really, really need to take time uh, when you jump. Luckily, if you do take the time, and you make sure that you don't screw it up, you'll go to the portal, which is the second one, actually, uh, which I found really cool. Um, on my second island, I had to... We escaped the fire there. Uh, I had to go into the really tall tree. And I thought it was really cool because the... Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, my God. Okay, so fall damage is a big factor in the game, all right? Like, it will affect you. Now, I'm going to stop the video here, all right? Because I think I've been recording a bit too long. I'm not even sure about it, but I bet that once I see the recording time, um, I'll be pissed at myself. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, I'll try to put a clip in the end. Uh, of me using the other staff and like how cool it is to mine with it and like attack enemies and I don't know I'll just show it off a little bit um, be sure to check the link in the description to the YouTube channel from the uh, the publishers the, from Keystone uh, Keystone Games also the link uh, the game of the link is in the description the link of the game the game of the link wow all right quality content right here um, I'll put everything in the description please make sure to check it out. Uh, it's a really fun game, all right. This is this is like the first island in a lot of it because it's also a roguelike slash adventure explorer. It's just it's, oh whoa, I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool actually. That, that's kind of a little detail. All right. Anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. This was Rogue Islands. Um, be sure to check it out because I guarantee you will love it. All right. Thank you for watching and let really me know if you want to. All right. Episode. It costs you all your mana, but it fires out a blast. Sounds stupid. Looks pretty decent, but look. When I try to mind something. Ooh,